Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Supreme Ruler 2020 as Italy in the Blitzkrieg scenario. Last off we just managed to finally conquer the city of Quebec and now well there is a slight dilemma what to do now but after some consideration I decided to expand as much as we can towards this area. I don't know about these dams though I probably would only conquer just one perhaps and afterwards, at the same time, expand a little bit here, but afterwards, we're not going to go all the way down here towards uh, Troy's River is, or even the power plants that are over here. So, as much as, I, as much as I want to conquer Canada, I'd rather not bother, even though I could gather more forces and just go around and hit and take Ottawa immediately, but I don't know about that. Especially since I'm still, since I'm not a whole certain about what forces they have here. So with that, I'm going to send some spies immediately, also continue, and deal with a certain tank that's gotten away. I'll have this frigate move up a little bit towards here. Okay, that tank's gone. Now we're going to move up so that we can take this village. Uh, sorry to any Canadians, but I really don't know how to say that, even if it's been uh, spelled clearly. As for up here, well, I do have units that I need to get back as soon as I can. Uh, I also have a transport that has something in it, so I'm going to have to send it over here and see if we can gain Nether Squad or something. Uh, wait, ah, what of that village at least? Of course, we just gotta deal with another counterattack by the Canadians. So we're just moving up again. You guys move up that way. And we're just gonna deal with some aircraft, a radar, mobile radar, and only two garrisons. I'm gonna send one LAV here. To, oh, well, nobody at Alma. That's interesting. Okay, I probably could've just went around anyway. So with that, I'm going to send some of these engineers to go this way. We may have conquered that, but uh, I'm going to send some back. Most of them are going to go over here, but the rest are going to go along this road. Over in other areas, is still the same. You, however, I don't know what you're carrying, but just in case, I'm going to send you up here to deploy whatever you have onto the island. Just so we don't have to deal with a bit of an odd look to the... Uh, map. Where are they going? I have no idea. Anyway, just entrench there. You guys move down south. Uh, these infantry units probably run through at this railway junction and connect that, I suppose. Okay, you move up a little bit in that direction, then go over here. My mouse is slightly acting up, unfortunately. And we're just conquer that area. Move up. You guys move up as well. Go back to there. Um, have these units move up a little bit and entrench and wait. Except for one LAV. Okay, we've close in. Now we're going to unload. Huh. So, there's nothing here. Interesting. Okay, what about you? You have two recon units and there's, of course, nothing here as well. So, lo you load up. There we go. But you stay here so that we can uh, <laughs> retrieve this recon unit fast. Hopefully. You get back there, just in case. Even though it just ran out of supplies. There we go. Move a little closer. Move this way, and then load up. I meant... This way. Oh, well, there we go. So now, I'm gonna move him up a little closer to... Uh, the small village of Sept Ile Ilez, I guess. You 
go that way, you move up. Also, have one unit expand this direction to connect that road. What's over here? Two garrisons. Nothing more. Alright. So this LAV is not going to be able to get supplied that well, at least for now. So I'll send... well, I'll try to send him back, but I'll send this recon in this direction. Move up a little... get his transport, move up a little closer. Hmm... Let's see if I can unload. Nobody here as well. Huh. Well, with that, I'm just gonna send my transports away. Uh, toward... to here, actually. So that's two villages for the price of one. You, however, are just going to stay here just in case. Both of these units better move up and expand the territory a bit. Lost some, We lost some land due to the supply... to the problems of the supply lines, of course. That's understandable. Move up. And entrench. I said entrench. Okay, you guys move up. You are not going in that direction. Uh, of course. Okay, go that way. You move up. Go that way. You... Not that way. Ugh. Okay, whatever. I really don't care anymore. For, that, for this area. Because I believe one infantry turn around. You go up now. You head south. Okay, there we go. Get over here and entrench. Everybody else stay here. Uh, what defense are we seeing? Nothing? Well, there are a few garrisons, but... Seriously? Hold on a minute. Let me send one more spy over here to see what's at these dams. If there's nothing, we'll probably just steamroll uh, certain places, I guess. Not really sure, though. Okay, you guys move up a little bit. There. Okay, the garrisons are deployed. There's nobody here. Move up. And not repair, entrench. It's always the case with these uh, engineers. Rendezvous with these engineers. Well, this area is getting supplied slowly. But you stay here. As for the economy, uh, social spending, I'll reduce that by that much. Taxes, I'll reduce slightly. Not much, but slightly. And now I'm going to move up. No, 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 no. I want you both to attack immediately. Have this frigate help out. And easily conquer that. Okay, so now it's time to move north in a trench. So I'll have one infantry head in this direction again. Uh, let's see. There's nothing else it seems we can take. Okay, my spies here now. Two garrisons and no information here. Great. Gotta send another spy. Nobody here. Really? Are they really this lax in defenses? Two here. No information here, of course. But seriously. Three garrisons. No information right here, though. But if we conquer all this, then I guess I could... Yeah, maybe I could try and conquer all of Canada, unfortunately. No offense to Canadians, but... Sorry. But if that were the case, sorry. They're gonna have to be in the uh, spear of... the greater Italian Empire now, in the end.
Oh, garrisons. That's great. Easily conquer that, I guess. You head over here. Get... Oh, no, 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 no. Not the U.S. Not the United States. Come on. We're screwed. We're screwed. We're really screwed. Okay, um... <laughs> okay... God, this is not looking good. Okay, what defense do you have here? Uh, few other get. Oh boy, here they come. Okay, um, I would like these units to please get over here so that we can load up and uh, head head out immediately. Okay, these ships are getting damaged. Where are you going? We're only gonna expand a bit, not all the way. To Washington. There's no way with all these. There's no way. There's no way we're gonna head to Washington that easily. We are taking out their units rather quickly, though. But I am not gonna expand that fast. I am going to expand a little bit towards here, then have the inf no, not infantry. Uh, recon, recon. Oh yeah, this Puma retreat. I didn't say all of you. Oh, no, 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 We don't have the resources at the moment. By resources, I mean military supplies. So, retreat. God, I was not expecting the U.S. to declare war. We'll just deal with Canada immediately as soon as we can. Then we're going to focus on the, U the U.S. As best as we can, of course. Okay, we have two other garrisons here. I'll send them down there. You guys... Uh, head over here. Okay, we've actually conquered that, surprisingly, but you are too damaged. You get over here. My navy, I guess I could send them out to help a little bit. But still. Still. Really? I was not expecting the United States to declare war. And their mighty air force. All I gotta say about that. Can't believe this. I can't believe this. I would like to gain that territory though. Okay, this Puma better get up here now. You gotta deal with this Bradley. You head down here, get out of that territory a bit. That's all we're gonna gain. Some territory. We're not gonna be able to gain Bangor though. So retreat in that area. Our bomber is useless. Our other units are struggling. Maybe should I just try and conquer Canada? I don't know. We've expanded a little too far at the moment. But St. Jerome could fall. Wow. Um, maybe not. This is not looking good. Ay ay ay. I was really hoping the US wouldn't join in. But they're not gonna accept peace. Canada, what about you? Yes, you can actually, but I will not settle for peace treaty yet. And also, I need to get this unit to get back. This is not a territory I would like. Okay, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. You're all too damaged. Turn around. Now. And you're gonna die. Are my units back yet? No, they're not. I got some units. But they're gonna get loaded up slowly. My navy is gonna be able to do much. Okay, this is not looking good. Of all the nations that dare declare war, it had to be the United States. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna ex ask for peace right now. I'm not gonna bother Canada at the moment. Thank you, Canada. Now we can focus all we can what we have against the US. This is not looking good. Well, their military approval rating is kind of 50-50. <sighs> why? Why? Uh, why does the United States at this moment have to declare war? And of course, these units are stuck. They're not going to be able to help. 
be of any help at all. The rest of my army is too far away. If I could build a road, or actually a railway connection, that would be nice, but the sheer distance is quite obvious that that's not going to be possible. If we, had a if we can build a bridge, that would be nice to be able to transport whatever units I could produce here on the island, since this is practically useless after all. That would be nice to do, but unfortunately, do we have anything that uh, deplete uranium? No. Please, accept peace treaty. I don't want to go to war right now. And there goes my navy. Please accept. Please. Will you please accept already? Come on. Oh, for God's sake, will you take out that storm hunter? As usual, the territory will look strange. And we finally made peace, but that area is now an odd look. Wow. That is a very short war right now, because we are not ready. I will say this, we are not ready for war against the United States. Seriously. I have a feeling that Canada will declare war again someday, but... Ah, well. Right now, we're just gonna deal with what we have. So, with that, I'm just gonna build up the uh, production as soon as I can. Timber mill in this case, some of these coal mines that are being built, slowly. Um, this tank is stuck, even though we didn't get a chance to destroy it. But damn, I have no choice but to send more reinforcements immediately. So those units are loaded up. My other transports, this one and these, they are also... Uh, going to have to go all the way back so that they can hopefully bring in more reinforcements so with that these transports are going back as well this distance though is a bit annoying so I'll have to build a new sea pier somewhere but where exactly? Uh. Bayon, I guess, as our only other entry, I guess. So that'll do. Okay. That is so annoying. And they have Storm Hunter type vehicles. Unbelievable. Seriously, Metal Storm? Do they have Metal Storm? Uh, looks like it. Unless it's in science? No. No. No, and no. I guess we both have Metal Storm in the end. Right? Did we research? Hold on a minute. Research, research, warfare. Let's see. Yep, we both got Metal Storm technology. Wow. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be a war I will not be looking forward to again if we go to war again. So with that, I'll have to build up some land fabrications everywhere I can. Naval fabrications, those I am going to ignore at the moment. Now, where else should I build land fabrications? Uh, right here, primarily as well. So that's quite enough. But just in case, some aircraft applications as well. Where to build? Where to build? Oh yeah, I already have one being built, but that's almost done, so I'll build another one. I could build one in sheer water, but probably not. Right. How's our... everything? Okay, I guess. Consumer is slightly a problem, so I'll build another one in Halifax. One at Glace Bay and Charlottetown, I guess. Also one at uh, St. John's. But now it's time to load up. If we can. Okay, you guys load up. There we go. 
transports move out so that I could um, have reinforcements a little bit more reinforcements at least I however would like some reinforcements from up here my destroyers and frigates better reserve there now I could build a fortress if I could but where to put it? Well, just in case, it, when it comes to the United States, probably the crossroads over here, I guess. I, well, I, at least I guess. Well, yeah, it's probably later. You, however, get repaired immediately since my aircraft, my planes are too damaged, mostly bombers, of course. Ugh. Sorry if I was a little bit panicky there, but... Seriously. The United States of America. It's a suicide mission to go to war with them. And most of the time, I have recon and other vehicles. Most of my productions are trying to build up some new tanks, after all. But most are home-built. home design at least. A few Leopards and all that, but... Uh, I have no choice but to research the Storm Hunter if I could. Oh wait, I don't have a Storm Hunter. Well, I do have the TE-1 MBT, so I'll research that. Centauros, research that. These, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna ignore. Oh, and uh, yeah, we have no anti-tank and artillery in this scenario, unfortunately. Which sucks. I know for the fact the artillery will be, as usual, a massive headache for most part. But at the same time, it could still be, in a way, useful for when you're playing a nation and you want some better defenses. Sort of. So, and just keep researching as much as I can. And yeah, most of these I'm just going to ignore. Missiles? We will need multiple designs, however. So research those, including these. Naval and submarines. So we got multiple missile designs to research. Well, we still have a lot of stuff, other stuff to research as well. Uh, right. Okay, I'm going to increase that to 61%. Technology level... It's not a whole lot, actually, now that I think of it. So I'll go with 50% just to keep that tech a little bit more up. Efficiency and all that. Those I'm going to ignore now. But, I am going to need more reinforcements. So, have them all in trains there until, unless, the sea pier here gets done rather, it is finished, built rather quickly, but not really, it's about 56 days. So we're just going to focus on sending reinforcements, well, eventually, well, somewhat reinforcements to, to here at least. Oh, Norwegian. Anyway, how's the rest of the world going on? Turkey? I s don't get what's going on. Lebanon is still alive. Barely. The Israelis have been pushed back. Um, Iraq is getting surrounded a bit due to Iran's war. Of aggression, at least. Uzbekistan managed to hold out against Russia. They're not at war with... They are... No, they're not allies with China, of course. But the Russians are losing a lot of land right now. North Korea, surprisingly, is still alive. Despite Japanese forces here, South Korean forces here, and all that. Also, yeah, they are allies with China, of course. Of course, I wasn't expecting North Korea to have this many allies at the moment. Now, yeah, what can you do? Anyway, more reinforcements are heading toward the port over here. I just realized I need to check to see what other ships I have reserved that are transports. Because if I could get them up here... 
That would be nice. Most of them are a bit far. Some more so than others. I don't know why many of these are deployed all the way in the Pacific and all that. Well, that's about it, actually. We don't have so much ships currently deployed. But I guess I have no choice. Deploy this one, this one, deploy... And have them sail all the way on the other side. Same with this one. Must sail all the way there. And that's it for now, since... I'd rather focus on trying to construct a certain ship design, which are, which are the uh, A5326 class. Yeah, those types. Yeah, here they are. We're gonna need more of them, but we only have 14 uh, ship fabrication, so it's gonna be a slow progress. And most of the time, we're just building frigates and. Corvettes, so I'll just leave them alone. Still, at least I have some transports be making the long journey across the Atlantic. Now, some UK ships as well. Okay, here's one of my transport. Here's one of the transports. The other. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to get these over here. <laughs> Alrighty then. We got production being built. Uh, I probably could build some naval fabrications here just to be safe. Have our own presence in North America at least. Yeah, just naval fabrications for now. These guys better get down here. Please. Yeah, probably not. So, I'll just build a supply depot then. Uh, I don't know about these spies, so I'll just send them home. Yeah, I'll just send them home. There's really no need for them there. There we go. I'll just keep recon over here just to see what they have, especially in case if Canada decides to declare war again. Uh, our fabrications are being built so that we can hopefully build up an army here. I could build a purely army land fabrication somewhere, but I don't know. Well, I guess I could do that here and air fabrications on your hand. Well, aircraft at least. I'll build one here, but I will build up an air defense in case of any air attacks. Alright. Got one fabrication here that's still being built. However, we are starting to build something, right? Yeah, a single tank. We're gonna need a lot of them, though. Oh, we're just gonna ignore all that. Now, as for these ships, they finally arrived to unload their cargo. Yeah, that transport's unloaded. You... Well, gotta move these away. There we go. Mostly infantry and such. I'll have them, so I'll have them be sent out immediately. Move over here. Well, I've got re one recon that's properly supplied a bit. The road is being built. Slowly. Hopefully, though, it will be enough so that I can get these guys out of this area. Making these unusual parades. For some reason. Then get onto the Canadian lands. Jeez. What else? Um, those transports are not here yet. Yeah, they are. They're slowly arriving. 
but it'd be much easier if we have another CP over here though so we're just gonna wait a much longer time to get this built afterwards I'll probably send these guys down there have the transports l slightly less time to travel all the way from the Atlantic dock over here then deploy it and then load them up oh yeah speaking of war wars I forgot about South America and Africa uh... Brazil... Um, should I say about them? Nothing to say about them, I mean. It, oh. Mexico... Wait a minute. The capital is now here. Oh. Uh... I guess Mexico did capture the capital. Yep, the capital's been captured, but... It's been moved. And they're not heading toward it. That sucks. And they have a lot of Abrams. And I do mean a lot. <laughs> Look at all this. But at least we're allies. I really don't know if they're ever going to break... Oh! We can make mutual defense. Thank you. But I'm not even sure. Nah, it's probably not possible because they... Are they allies with the United States? Yes, they are. And unfortunately for this game, at least, once an alliance has been made, the AI never breaks it, unfortunately. So, we never will see the Me never see Mexico break their alliance and go to war with the United States, even with their Abrams everywhere. Still. Oh, wait a minute. Speaking of which, that's uh, El Salvador. Are you allies with... No. Not even Honduras. So, why is Mexico not invading El Salvador and Honduras instead? I mean, easier access to Nicaragua than maybe Costa Rica, if they want to, but doesn't look like they're going to be able to do that. Oh well. Even though Nicaragua's economy is tiny now, I really don't know. Anyway, are those transports here yet? Yep, they just arrived. Now, as for these transports... Slowly making their way. There we go. I think I could have sworn I had another one. Or was that really the only one I have? Oh yeah, right, I forgot. It is the only one. So I mean. Okay then. The transports are finally here. Right. I'm gonna pause. Okay, I'm gonna stop right here. So I might do a bit of a time another time skip just so I can get these forces onto Canada, the Canadian the occupied Canadian lands. So that we can be prepared for war. Primarily Canada, if they decide to go to war again to reclaim some of their lost land. Or worse, the United States. So that if it's the United States, we need numbers. We need much larger numbers to conquer, oh, I don't know, Bangor. And then towards Camp Keys and a little bit of the northern part of the United States. And then maybe, I don't know, make peace again. Expand as much as we can, fortify, but primarily focus against Canada, and conquer, and try to conquer, but... Seeing that Nicaragua's capital is moved... Yeah, it's moved from... Managua, as... The new say clearly says the capital has been captured. Oh, wait. Yeah, capital has been captured, but it's been moved. So that means if we conquer Ottawa, that means the Canadians will just keep trying to fight somewhere else. And that would suck, unfortunately. And that would suck for us, because the amount of territory is going to be a nightmare if the capital's moved, oh, I don't know, maybe 
here or somewhere all the, all the way on the other side. That's going to be a nightmare. But I will do a time skip so that I can gather forces and send them out and see if I can do some changes to the economy a little bit. So, hope you enjoyed this and see you then in the next episode.